So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Mumbleonk Legend Red. So uh, the note breakdown on this one looks pretty interesting. Uh, that's really all I can go off of here. Uh, it's a Legend Flanker, right? I'm not expecting wonders, so I'm not going to try to judge it too hard. But I am curious about it, and I am excited, and I have heard some good things about it. So we're going to go ahead and bust this one open, take a look at the bottle real quick, jump into the smell, see what it's like. Hope this video does not get deleted again. Here we go. So I did go with the 50 mil. Uh, this was all that was available when I was making the purchase at that time. Um, now Macy's does carry this one. They've got 100 mil available. So you know the drill that will be linked right up down below if you're interested. Uh, the bottle has been sitting outside, so it is cold, a little bit frosty there. But hey, let's go ahead and uh, dive right into this one and see what we're working with. Okay, it's clear and uh, yeah. Nice atomizer, get a nice uh, bit on there. It's very wet. So this is nice, actually, it is. You get this blood orange sweetness, this, this typical legend DNA, but with some woods and a bit more of a creaminess. So when you think of legend, right, typically you're thinking of just the Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce smell, basically. Uh, just that fresh, ozonic, kind of citrusy, very musky smell, very modern, very generic, right, legend. But this, this has a little bit more character. Let's dive into the nose. So we've got blood orange, grapefruit, cardamom up top. We have juniper berries, clary sage, cedar in the mid, mahog mahogany, 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 atlas cedar, and tonka bean in the base. So... It is a little bit herbal, it's aromatic, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's citrusy, it's sweet. It is pretty nice. So one thing that I'm thinking about a tiny little bit, just a tiny bit, is, I don't know, almost like a, a Rojas loam, but toned back. So that one has the blood orange, I think it does have the juniper berries, they share quite a bit of notes, but Rojas loam is a little bit more uh, in the direction of a challenging fragrance. It's not challenging itself, but when you're comparing the two, that would be more challenging than this. Basically, it's almost like it's a toned down version of that to some small extent. At least that's kind of what I'm drawing comparisons to right off the bat. Almost like almost a, uh, a Ralph's Club type of smell too. Um, you know, the new fragrance, Polo Ralph Lauren. Almost has a little bit of that type of sweetness going on. That's kind of where this one fits. You know, the clary sage coming through, which is kind of aromatic, fresh and sweet, that sort of thing. So I'm not fully sure where the red comes through or the red comes from, I should say, I guess, in terms of their naming and the bottle. It's not like super red spicy. So, you know, I would almost think of something like Spice Bomb Infrared with that red fruit smell. You would almost kind of think it would go in that direction, just more warm, spicy, but really it's more aromatic. I can almost see this as being like a Mont Blanc Legend Aromatique, right? You know, something along those lines, nice and fancy, although I'm not sure they would go that direction. Uh, don't let the red mislead you into thinking that it's a warm, spicy, because it's really not. It's more aromatic, fresh, herbaceous. One thing that I am liking, though, is that it is an eau de parfum, which is cool to see that they didn't just go to eau de toilette. Um, you know, they had Legend Eau de Parfum released last, I believe, wasn't that their last flanker? And that one was a really nice improvement over Legend EDT, so it's cool to see that we have that stronger concentration here. Performance will have to be tested in a future video, but I will say that as it sits, it has a good amount of presence. Now, in terms of its projection here, it's not a super strong projector, at least right now with a couple sprays on my hand. I do think warmer weather will help in that, uh, but what I mean by presence is just the mixture of notes, right? You have the woods, you have the citrus up top, and then you have that herbaceous mid, right? And it, it's just kind of a nice balance to where it does kind of uh, stand out on your skin. It's not like an aquatic fragrance that dissipates super easily. It has just a, a good amount of presence, like I've said a million times. That's really how I would describe it. There's a little bit of a spiciness, like I said, from the cardamom, some sweetness here. There's just a, a nice different mix of notes, giving it some character. So I suppose we will go ahead and look at the for granted comparisons. There are a few already. 
Uh, first up, we have Parfums de Marley Calan. I will be honest, I have not smelled that, so I can't attest there. That one's four to three, so not really looking the best. Next up, Dolce Gabbana K. So yeah, I was thinking about that a little bit as well, but then you kind of get down the rabbit hole because K is kind of like Rojas, Loam. Also with K, there's, for me, kind of a an unsettling aspect about it that this one does not have. So depending on how you perceive things, maybe it could smell a bit like K as well. But to me, I still think it's more Rojas Loam, but toned back. Oh, and next, Rojas Loam. That's pretty cool to see. One to zero. Um, so not a whole lot of feedback on that. Ultra Red. Uh, not really. Ultra Red is much more sweet. Now, they do share the blood orange, but that one goes even more Tonka Bean heavy, all of that stuff. The original Legend, yeah, sure, a little bit. Um, Polo Red, I believe that's the original. Um, yeah, Polo Red looks like the EDT. Uh, maybe a tiny bit, but not really that much. A little bit of a reach. Ultra Zest, also, I think it's a bit of a reach, and that's kind of about all we're seeing there. So, yeah, that's kind of where it sits. So, with that being said, right, it's not going to be something that is super like unique. It's not going to be a mind blower, but it is going to have a strong level of mass appeal. Uh, this one's super easy to get along with. It's one that I would say the majority of people are going to really enjoy. They're going to at least think you smell pleasant. Uh, you could get some really good reactions, but I think it it's probably less likely with something like this. And you're probably just going to get a lot of, oh yeah, that smells nice. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the best way to play it safe. I've talked about it before, but if you really want to get those those you know enthusiastic reactions that people dream of, a lot of times you do have to go for something that is more challenging. This is going to be just super easy. It's a great scent to wear to school, to work, that sort of thing. The price is steep on this one, big time. Uh, 100 bucks for 100 mil, I believe I saw. Uh, my advice is to just probably not do that. <laughs> As much as you know, I do like to advocate buying retail on certain fragrances that aren't discounted all that much, especially because you don't know how long you're going to wait. If this was a YSL or a Tom Ford or a Dior, you guys get the idea. Uh, they're not going to be discounted that much. A lot of times, if you really want it, you can go for retail. With this one here, even if you really want it, do keep in mind, uh, by the time it is at discounters, you will be able to save probably $70. So... That's something to keep in mind heavily here. Uh, that $70 could go to a whole bunch of different things. And I really don't think it's going to be exciting enough for a lot of you to just spring out and buy this one at full retail. That's just my opinion though. If you had a way to sample this one first, that would definitely be the way to go. It's very pleasant, but I do think you can wait on this. Uh, also, the quality is nice, and that's always good to see, and it's not like I expected anything different from Mont Blanc. They create some amazing fragrances, and again, once they do hit discounters, they are affordable, typically in that $20 to $30 range, so I wasn't expecting anything less, but it, it is always refreshing to kind of see and smell this and be like, okay, at one point, this will be about $30, and the quality is great. It smells pleasant. Obviously, we're not there yet, but we will be. And I do think once we do get there, this would be potentially a nice springtime pickup. That's kind of where I see it. Wintertime, not quite sweet enough. Summer, almost too sweet for a summer. So I guess maybe spring and fall is where this one would kind of place into. But you could do what you want. Could also be your signature scent. You could wear it all year round if you really wanted to, especially if you're keeping it indoors. So there you go. Alrighty, guys. I think that's going to do it for me. That's my thoughts on... Legend Red by Mont Blanc, the Eau de Parfum. It's nice, it's pleasant, but don't go into it expecting a mind blower, but I don't think really anyone would anyway. It's a legend flanker, but it is nice. And I would say overall, it's better than I was expecting. So that blood orange, creamy sweetness, that fruitiness up top, mixing with all the woods and everything, it is pretty well done, very well blended here. Uh, I really don't have anything bad to say about it other than the obvious retail price which that's never going to change so once it's at discounters i think this will be a nice pickup for you if you've had your chance to try legend red yet let me know what you think down below do you like it do you not like it is it too generic for you is it too boring just you know drop it down below i will go ahead and link some of the other legend flankers also the fragrance net 35 percent off code will be linked down below as well Clicking that will automatically always apply the current best discount so that way you know and can be confident that you're saving the most amount of money. Alrighty, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.